Hey guys, it's Marco Schwartz for the Open Home Automation website. And this is the last part of uh, my tutorial about the Arduino Shield Design tutorial. And in this last part, I will talk about the fabrication of the shield and the test. So the objective uh, today is first I will show you how you find um, a manufacturer to produce a board. And I will show you how what happens when you receive the board and when you solder it. And finally, uh, what I call the most important part is to actually test your uh, Arduino shield. So find a manufacturer, which is of course important because now that you have the design of the shield, you, you really need to, um, to produce it. Well, it really depends on where you live. And I will, I will really advise that you will try to find a local uh, manufacturer. So of course there are websites where you can just um, order your PCB from anywhere in the world and they will ship it to you. But usually um, the, the taxes to ship the PCB are very expensive. And if you have any problems, it will be much more difficult uh, to go back to them and to figure out the problem. So now I will go um, back to my desktop and I will show you how to find uh, a local manufacturer and how to actually order your, your board. Okay, so in, in this part, um, I'm back to my desktop and I will show you quickly how you can actually uh, find a PCB manufacturer in your um, area where you, where you live. And actually, I'm currently in New Zealand, in Auckland, so I usually just type in, in Google um, PCB and the name of my city, so Auckland in this case. And you can see it, it returns um, a lot of websites which are local uh, PCB uh, manufacturers. And I will just click um, on the first one, which is the one I used. So this really depends on, on your website, of, uh, of course. And usually you have uh, price services. And for example, these guys, they want you to uh, send them an email with uh, your PCB files, so the, the uh, Diablo files that you generated in the part two of the tutorial. You just have to send them um, these files and they will come back to you uh, with a price depending of the number of um, of PCBs you want and some options. Other websites that just um, allow you to directly upload the file and you have like a first uh, quote uh, instantly. So it really depends on the website where you're, you're going. So now you ordered your board to the manufacturer, you wait um, usually two weeks or something like this and you receive your board. So this is my board, you can see it's very simple. I was actually quite happy when it arrived to my to my home. And the next step is to, to actually solder the board. So this is not a, a tutorial about soldering. So I will just show you the result. And this is the result after I soldered all the components on the board. So as you can see now, it really looks more like uh, a proper Arduino shield. So the last part is the test part, which I call the most important part. Because now you really want to test every possible features on the board that you produce in all the possible conditions. So that for example, if you want to, to share the shield online or to produce it and to sell it to people, well, you really need to be sure that everything's working as you planned. And this, this last part will also be very important if you have to design uh, a certain version of your shield, if some, you have some bugs or something is not working. So now I will go uh, back to desktop and I will show you how I tested my shield. So the hardware configuration first, well, that's very easy. You just have your Arduino board and if you did the shield design correctly, well, you just have to plug uh, your shield into the Arduino board like you would do for any other shield. 
And now I will go to the software part on my desktop and I will show you all my shield is actually working. Okay, so now this is um, this very simple uh, sketch to debug my part of my weather shield. So if you remember, there, there is a temperature sensor, a light sensor, and a humidity sensor, which are the analog sensors of the shield. And I will just do some analog uh, inputs read from the sensors, which are connected to pin 0, 1, and 2. And I will just basically output um, directly the readout from the sensors every second on the, uh, the side monitor. So without further ado, I can upload the sketch to my Arduino board. And now I can just open the side monitor to see if it works. So it actually outputs something. And now I can just test, um, for example, if I put my finger on the light sensor, the value should drop. Um, this is what's actually happening. You can see that the value just really dropped um, to some low values. So this means the light sensor is doing something uh, meaningful. And I should do, of course, the same for every other um, values. So really be sure to test everything you have in your shield. So this is already the end of this uh, three part series of um, this tutorial about designing your own Arduino shield. And I hope you really enjoyed it. Don't hesitate to visit us at openhomeautomation.net and to leave some comments uh, on this video. I really want to thank you for following these uh, tutorials and see you on the next video. Thanks.